to a street race um hoping that we had something to take and really didn't so that's whenever i kicked in gear on the um on the malibu thinking maybe we could take it things didn't work out with it so the race is saturday friday night jess and i go out to dinner and i decide that i'm going to try to change the converter in the black car and see how it does and to possibly take it. Um, so we got home from dinner and I kicked it in. I was out there to what, 2.33 in the morning. Um, got the converter changed, changed, manually changed tires uh, on the other set of wheels to put a set of slicks on it because it has radials on it. Um, yeah, Mike came over, gave me a hand, had somebody to talk to and all that. Uh, Got up the next morning and we noticed that a fuel line was leaking. It was seeping through it. Um, so apparently during originally of putting the car together, I temporarily put some fuel line that I had on it that was not good for E85. It uh, didn't come apart inside, it just seeped through it and it was seeping. So I gotta get up in the morning and run to Jags. Hopefully they have what I need get there they do um hightail at home now wait a minute you got stuck talking and everybody ended up knowing well, you were at jake's yeah, yeah every, everybody knew i was going to a street race too and mm -hmm. everybody knew i was going to jake's <laughs> or i was at jake's but anyway um <clears throat> hightailed at home changed out the fuel line it's the main fuel line that goes from the back of the car from the fuel tank all the way up to the injector rail um so I pulled the old one out, built the new one, got it in, and took the car down the road for the first pass on this converter. Um, I was not impressed. Like, it just was not running like it needed to run. Um, I made a couple more hits on it, thinking maybe if it was just something stupid, it would come out of it. It didn't. Uh, we decided to load it up and go ahead and take it hoping somebody would be able to help figure out what was wrong with it. Um, well, before I loaded, I went and made a pass and logged it. So I had the data of everything. So I got a hold of Corey Mullins, which is who tuned it, um, and asked him, told him what it was doing. And it was like, how do I fix it? <laughs> like, how do we fix it? So I had to figure out how on the way there, like, I got Lance in the back trying to hotspot the computer and download these things and do all this stuff so that he can send the data log to Corey 
and he can look over it. And in the meantime, Odie's calling Tyler Cox to try to figure out if one don't work, the other one might be able to figure out what's going on. And by the time we got there, we had it figured out. All we had to do was figure out how to load the tune out of the computer and the SD card into the head unit. So once we got that figured out, load the tune in, everything's good to go. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if it fixed anything. We're going out. It ended up being ninth pair. There were five call outs. Ended up being ninth pair. Um, got there and the rear right rear brake was smoking on the dually. So apparently it stuck at some point, but I've driven it a couple days this week and haven't had any problems. So it unstuck, but there's something going on there. I'm going to have to figure out. We go to race and it's, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It's, We've had struggles with the car, not knowing what it was going to do, and I almost didn't take it. And it was like, well, everybody was already here at that point. So we loaded up and took it. Um, went out, done a burnout, made the pass, got beat. It was not as bad as I was expecting, and the car did better than I expected. So we're on the right track now. Um, what's in it right now, I still want to make a pass on to see how it goes. My first round, I got Tanner. He ended up beating me. He won the race. Uh, so that makes me feel better. I'm sure his car had a lot more to give, but first round, he beat me by, I think it was, there was about two car space between us. Um, and both of us went straight down through. It was a good, clean race. It was, it was what I was hoping for, other than I would have liked to have made it to the second round. <laughs> it didn't, it was just a good pass. Um, <clears throat> but before I'm going to say this, before anything happens, I want to go make a pass on the tune up that's in it and see where this car is at because we have a new converter for the 4L80 transmission that's going in it from Tim's transmission. So we got the 501 converter and a 4L80. And I have the ECU to run the transmission, the Terminator X Max. So hopefully it all goes well, a little bit of drive shaft work, and we can get the 4L80 transmission in this thing that has the Jake's D3 Plus valve body in it. And if I'm not mistaken, when Tim had it on the dyno, he said that it will trans brake in first, second, and drive. So we, I, there's a lot to learn. I got to get a shifter for it too, but there's going to be a lot to learn with this thing. And I honestly can't wait to get the 4L80 in it and start playing with it because that it's got a glide in it right now. So the overdrive is going to be a game changer in the drivability. I pre pretty much drive the car anywhere now, but I think the, the overdrive is going to let it not be so hard on the engine. So this is what we got, brand new, just opened. Got the big banner for it. So that can go in the car. Oh yeah. Go across the windshield. Yeah, we got room on that car to put some stickers. So this car, my car, doesn't have a cage or harnesses in it. Yeah. Do you yes. think that we're going to need that? I'm not putting a cage in the car. I don't plan on racing the car a whole lot. Yes, but you... Planning, the idea was to go out and have fun. Yeah, competitive fun. But competitive fun, you like to go fast. No, so I like to win. You like to win. So that involves being fast. 4L80 with lockup. Converter. All fresh and new. So, new converter, new transmission coming. Right. Do we want to talk a little more about the cage? That's up to I you. I don't remember where I was at. You kind of cut me off. But I don't want a cage in it. I don't plan on putting a cage in it. If at some point it gets, and I have to put a cage in it, like I absolutely have to, um, I was over at Bill's. And he was kind of explaining to me the way that they're, do, they're doing the cage. I believe it was in the Monte Carlo. Um, or it may have been the Malibu. One of them. But they're, they're going to make it so that, like, the door bars are removable. 
and I think the back bar is removable so it opens everything up to where you can easily get in and out and use it for a street car, a daily driver, and not have that race car essentially bullshit that you got to deal with to get in and out. The um, confinement of it. So that would probably be the, way, the only way I would put a cage in the car. Um, it's hard to find Mustangs without cages anymore and... Like I just want, I wanted that car to be a street car and like a daily driver. That's that's why we did what we did so we can pretty much hop in it and drive wherever we want, um, regardless of how far it is. We can make two, 3,000 mile trips in it and, and it not have any issues, which it's a project so they have issues, but like essentially it shouldn't have any. I've put a lot of miles on that car and it hasn't given me any fits. So, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> knock on some wood, hopefully it continues to do that. Um, I will say I've been wanting to change the oil in it for uh, quite a while now. It has not been changed since I put the car together. So, I need to change the oil, but it's still clean as a pin. It's still slick. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's that for the car. Okay. Got the converter, 4L80, Next transmission. Box. Got the struts back that were on the car uh, when I wrecked it from Jeff Thomas. And they are all fixed and ready to go, which I had the aft codes that I put on it to get it to Performance Works. Um, but these is what I was running on it. So we are back together with these. Also, I bet you he had to do a lot of work to him. Um, well, the cause... one was completely mm -hmm. like the body. Yeah. <laughs> He done, yeah, he done a lot of work to both of them. They were both in pretty bad shape. But there we go there. Much better. Oh, yeah. yeah they, they was in. <laughs> yeah, they, they were, were both in bad shape. I was almost wondering if he was going to be able to. Yeah, I'm curious as to what all he did have to do. I would say at least one body had to be changed. You can still, still see it's got damage, some of the yeah. war wounds on it. Got some of the damage on that one. So this body was reused. So speaking of Raggedy Ann, earlier this week we kind of put a SOS, well, three days ago I think it was, we put a SOS out for some parts that we needed. Yeah, the frame rail has been really hard. Hang on a second. Oh, sorry. Fiddly. The frame rail has been a big setback, a hold up, trying to find a frame rail. Um, we thought we had one and it fell through. So now that it was brought to my attention that it, he's not gonna be able to get one, we need to try to get one. Um, I put a post up and was honestly overwhelmed with what, with the, the help, everybody reaching out. Um, we still got messages coming in. I did locate a car, and I'm planning on leaving tomorrow after work sometime. It's in Kentucky, kind of on the way to Performance Works. So I'm gonna, my plans are to go ahead and pick it up and drop it off there. That way, whatever he needs is there, and whenever he has time to be able to get to work on it, he can. Um, so hopefully, once we actually, we need to talk and kind of figure out a game plan um, but once, once he gets on it, I don't think it will take long. Um, it's just getting everything so that he can get started. So that's kind of where we're at on it. It's kind of sitting idle, hopefully not for much longer. <laughs> um, we had some goals. I've got some decisions to make, um, as far as the racing goes and depending on how I make decisions as to whether we come back out with that car this year or not. So, I definitely, I, I don't know. I personally, like, I, I, I don't want to not race it this year. 
we had a couple races that we wanted to go to, but it's going to be what work gets done and what doesn't and what has to wait. So. And it's also a question of making it pretty again or yeah. just making it raceable and safe. Right. And... Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. <laughs> um, it's been a big conversation in the house the past few days. So, the determination of if we make it pretty again, it's going to take it longer. If yeah. we make it just raceable and safe, the time spent on it is shorter. So, yeah, that's, and it's got, I mean, it's got some body damage. So, it's going to all depend on the decisions made there and what we talk about when we talk. So, yep. Can't thank them enough. Um, him taking this project on and all that like yeah and everybody that reached out to help um, yeah. and offer cars and parts, and parts it was extremely overwhelming in a good way I'm pretty sure there's still several messages I never <laughs> got to yeah and I just there was just so many so we appreciate everybody Neglect is what it is. Shit growing on it. Everybody's going to ask, what are you wanting for it? What are you doing with it? I don't know. Um, right now, I'm actually just cleaning it to see what, what we're working with. Um, then I'll probably just go over it and see what all it needs. Um, and what I can remember it needs. Like, I know it needs the transmission because second gear is funky. Um, I drove it to the gas station the other day. It seemed to drive all right. It needs tires from setting. Um, but I don't know. I might start working on it and see what happens. See if uh, we gauge enough interest to possibly turn loose of it, waffle it off, or, or see what happens. I don't know. Um, I think a lot of it's going to be basically what it takes for me to get it ready to, for somebody to where I don't have to have any worries of somebody driving it anywhere um as it is a it's a daily driver street car so so yeah we'll see what comes of it Okay, so this weekend's uncaged. Yeah. One of your races that you mind. that we hopefully passing the torch to somebody else. Definitely passing it. Hopefully somebody local. <laughs> <laughs> I need somebody local to do good. So you local guys, time to step <laughs> Pressure. up. Pressure. Pressure's on. Pressure's on. Um we will be there. Uh we are not racing. Yeah. The, well with the classes, like we just don't have anything to fit any of the classes, so um we're gonna go support the race. Uh, I believe we're still doing the uh, power wheel deal. Yeah, we got some stuff going on the power wheel deal. Helping raise money for power wheels. Um, selling merch. We'll have merch tent and everything set up. But racing, we are not doing. So, so hopefully, we can help out our fellow racers as well. 
Um, I do have to work. So CJ's on his own with Darren for a little bit. Yeah. Allie is locked into college right now, so you won't see her for probably the rest of the season. Uh, but CJ will be on his own at the merge tent, so please be patient with him. Um, I've labeled everything the best I can to try to help him out. Um, my plan is to be there sometime between 11 and noon. Last year I was able to make that happen, so I think I can make it happen again this year. Um, so uh, once I get there, he'll have a little bit more freedom to go out and talk to people and help others out. But until I get there, he's locked into the merch tent. Yeah. Chain down. <laughs> Chain down. So we will be at Uncaged. I think spectators are allowed in the gate around 11. Um, the weather has improved, so Josh is going to go on with it. And if for some reason they, there's, a, there's a delay or weather delay, they are allowed to um, continue it on to Sunday. Um, but that's, we That's good. Yeah. Have a whole other day that could possibly get it taken care yeah. of. Yeah. We probably won't be there Sunday if that happens. Um, we have something else on schedule, and I also have to work again. So we are trying to juggle the best we can. Um but hopefully we'll be able to race sometime this month we just don't know when again we'll race something. yep uh, we'll race something so thanks for sticking with us more to come um we have plenty of more content coming we have some great ideals coming up and some big announcements so please like share subscribe